remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Residents of Aleto community in LMA local government area of River State for over two weeks have been faced with a severe environmental pollution occasioned by an oil pipeline blowout on the 28th Trans Niger Delta pipeline. Our correspondent reports that massive crude oil spillage, which was first reported on the 11th of June 2023, is generating serious health concern and has also impacted negatively on the socio-economic life of Aleto community. On the 11th of June this year, residents of Aleto clan in Eleme local government area of River State discovered a ruptured pipeline in oil mining lease 11, spilling crude oil massively into the community and nearby Okolu River. The spill site is a densely populated area that connects Eleme, Okrika and Portacot. On arrival at the spill site, our crew discovered massive spread of crude oil over a long distance. The air was filled with stench, which permeated the ever-busy east-west road. Weeks after the incident occurred, residents still find it difficult to breathe as they call on relevant authorities for help. A couple, Mr. and Mrs. Ungofa, told Inside the Niger Delta that their baby took ill and had been frequenting the hospital. My baby herself, extra, she struggles to breathe. Uh, if you look at her nose, you see Kata, she's just going for the clinic now. At night, you can't even breathe well. When the water, water volume rises, what happens is that the oil is back on top of the surface and the heat from it is tremendous. So please, whoever is responsible, both in the high and mighty, please, while you play your bling game, consider the lives of poor Nigerians. Other affected residents are also calling for help. You know it's crude oil, so it's toxic, it's choking. So even right from the express, which is the main east-west road, it's also choking people, passerby. If you watch, even as you are coming in, your eyes so reddish. When did it happen? I left this area because of my baby. I came back um, yesterday, so still the same thing. So I have no option that to stay. So we need help. The ruptured pipeline belongs to Shell Petroleum Development Company, SPDC. In a press statement issued on the 15th of June 2023, SPDC confirmed the incident, noting that it was working closely with a multi-stakeholder joint investigation visit team to determine the cause of the spill. However, environmental rights activist Dumnamene Fineface has accused Shell and the National Oil Spill Detection and Response Agency, Nozdra, of food dragging over a joint investigation visit to the spill site, maintaining that the incident occurred as a result of equipment failure. Those pipes are already very, very obsolete. The technologies are out of place. The pipes are now like uh, bursting and deflating like balloons because they are too old. They ought to have been replaced. These are pipes that high pressure crude oil has been passing through for multiple years. This is over 60 years of oil extraction in Nigeria in the Niger Delta. And one would be believe that uh, a pipe laid 60 years ago should be changed at this point in time. Nozra plays the critical role. They are the eyes of the government in relation to what the multinational oil companies are doing in the Niger Delta. So they are the people that are supposed to, you know, be able to detect this OSP, look at what has happened through the joint investigation visit process, but oftentimes they are unable to perform their responsibilities. And because they have failed to perform their responsibilities, that is why multinational oil companies are not you know, obeying the regulations, the guidelines and the law, environmental laws of Nigeria. At the time of filing this report, the spill site had been barricaded. However, crude oil was still seeping through a porous part of the ruptured pipeline, suggesting that a proper containment had not been carried out. Lawmaker representing Eleme constituency in the River State House of Assembly Honorable Igwe Afoji says he is working relentlessly to ensure that his constituents get environmental justice. We reach out to all agencies of government, we reach out to all strata of government. We've already written to the university government, we've written to the city assembly. We will do such if it requires to the national assembly, to the presidency. But as it is now, Shell has assured us that they will not be insensitive and understand the pain of the people. So we will go through the law, 
to ensure that the right thing is done. The Environmental Regulatory Agency, NOSDRA, had visited the spill site to ascertain the cause of the oil spill. Sadly, the agency is here to issue a statement since the incident occurred. Inside the Niger Delta, 